Been over three years and then you just got here, man. Get me a beer and open up the mirrors. Let me show you now what you've been missing for years. Call it premiere. I can take a boy's name and see. I'll take it up. Hey guys, I got this box. Nice little pretty little box and I fix it. So let's find out what's inside of it. You got it. Okay. Interesting package. Set this box over here. Alrighty then, it's like a clamshell. Put that over here. There it is. There's the thing where it's a focus. Okay, you probably can't see it, but it's a AMD chip. There we go. Alrighty then, here we go. You remember this big old beast. Now, I did not Now I did not get a cooler for it. No, I did not. I just see everything's good, everything's wired magic, I got everything hidden. Except for down here. This time I won't forget to zoom. There we go. And my that's all there. Basically what we gotta do is we've gotta come over here. I don't think there's a clip here. Nope. No clip. Pull that out. I do not have another cooler for this yet. So, down in the comments, tell me what do you think: water cooler or air cooler for this thing? Man, it is an eighty-one eight one three. There we go. Okay, that's that's what happened. Should be test free, but just in case. Now, figure out how they took like this. Okay. I think they heat treated it, so. Claim shield it. Oh, there we go. Focus does not want to work. So I'm taking out my old, can't see it too much, but the 4300FX and installing there. So I'm going to open it up. Let me. Yeah. So professional. Why is it not focusing? Nah, good enough. Anyway, you want to open this up. You want to try not to touch the gold or the silver. Try to touch the brown. Carefully open it up. See, there's even some screws on here too. Some holes. There we go. Now we got to figure out where the gold is. Gold point. There's a gold point right there. That connects to that point right there. You do it right. To be able to slide right in like that and then we just lock it in perfect now we just take a pea size of this thermal paste put it right in the middle yeah that should be enough this big pea size that's all it is i, just, I mean Basically, all thermal paste is for is to if there's any micro grooves or anything like that in your uh, crap <laughs> to and then you just seat this right on top like that. And I can place there. Fidget with it a little bit here. Oh, <laughs> make sure when you do this, make sure this thing is unlocked. <laughs> oh my, what the hell? 
Okay, make sure they're both in there securely, in securely. And then pull, slowly pull this up. See it locked. I'm gonna put this up here. Now you'll see that there's a four pin. There's a four pin, there's a little edge there. There's only a little part of an edge there, so they can't screw this up. There we go. Pull that up like that. Perfect. Okay, let me get cap onto this. I'm going to stick the other 43 in there. Okay, the experience in boot failure. Okay, we have to do something over here. Okay, I got the wrong one, so give me a second. I uh, see. System has experienced boot failure. Last settings is. Current speed is no. Ah! Kind of hurry up and it's not working. Okay. Get the old CPU out of here. Let's see if I can get you to see what I'm looking at. Okay, sorry. I'm going to fumble there. That's what I'm looking for. So. Hey guys, Future Rocky here. Everything got fixed. I'll flash on the screen what it looks like right now. I have set up about 3.5 gigahertz. Don't want to go too high because of the standard fan I have. But other than that, everything's working great. I mean, it's speed. I see speed. I've seen the internet go a little faster. My games go a little faster. Uh, my editing screen's going a lot faster. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. We can make a wildfire get away